What's new in Evolution X 5.2 based on Android 11 running on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro? Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you what is new in Evolution X version 5.2 based on Android 11 running on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. In case you want to learn how to install this ROM and have a look at the features of previous builds of Evolution X based on Android 11, we do have separate videos for all of those which can be found in the description of this video. The first change for Evolution X 5.2 is that the security patch is from December 5th, 2020 and the next change you will find is if you go into settings then you can go into apps and notifications see all apps go into any application then you can go into mobile data and wi-fi and bam here it is they have now added per app network isolation so you can now determine if chrome can access your data while it is on wi-fi while it is using your mobile data background data vpn data and all the different options which you see on your screen right now next up they have added smart charging so you can go into settings then you will go into battery bam here is the option for smart charging enable the toggle and you can now configure your trigger level to stop the charging trigger level to start the charging and in case you want to reset the battery starts you have a toggle for that as well other than that in battery you do have thermal profiles here are the different options for thermals and if you use the gaming or say the benchmark thermal profile you also have the option of touch control which can enable game mode and then you can configure your touch response touch sensitivity touch resistant area and you also have adaptive battery along with the option of battery health next new change you will find is in display so if you go into display and then if you go into clock style you will see they have added a bunch of different clock styles which do include binary divided lines the type clock was already there and the samsung clocks have also been added if you go into dark theme and then enable your dark theme the color bucket option will be enabled and here are the different options which you have you do have the option of clear spring there as well other than that they have also added a few new accent colors and one of those new accent color is the midnight purple option now only if this list was in alphabetical order it would have been great but bam here it is the midnight purple option and that is how the midnight purple option looks like other than that in display you also have live display you can enable or disable reading mode color calibration works absolutely fine you can also adjust the picture in case you want to and you have adaptive brightness styles and wallpapers you do have different themes you can always create your own theme if you want to go into wallpaper bam you do have the wallpapers from the mandalorian baked into the build and as you can see i am using one of them right now they do look pretty dope other than that you have double tap to wake pocket detection anti-flicker mode or dc dimming so all these options are present in display moving over to sound a new feature which they have added in sound is volume steps so now you can configure volume steps for say the alarm music notification ringer system voice calls all of these can be configured then you also have a toggle to link and delink the ring and notification volumes if you want the volume panel on the left you have a toggle for that in case you want increasing ring volume you have a toggle for that as well you have oxygen os or oneplus style ringtone vibration patterns then you also have direct sound enhancer baked in along with the option of hi-fi and yes you also have a toggle to enable or disable the screenshot sound next up we can head over to system we will go into front camera sound effects tap on the option one more time and bam you now have the star wars front camera sounds when you open the pop-up camera on your device we can also go into gestures system navigation and if you're using the full screen gesture navigation tap on the settings icon two new options have been added over here the first one is to enable or disable the back gesture animation or 
the arrow which you see so as you can see the arrow is present right now if i disable the toggle the arrow is now hidden and back works absolutely fine other than that you can also hide the gesture bar at the bottom so here it is and let us select hidden bam the gesture bar at the bottom is now hidden next up you can head over to evolver and have a look at the different customizations which have been added in the evolver first option you will find is in status bar and in status bar go into traffic indicators you can now determine where do you want to see the network traffic indicator do you want them disabled do you want to see it in the status bar or do you want to see in the expanded status bar header then you can determine what is the activity type you want to see you want to see both you want to see upload you want to see download or you can always choose dynamic next up you can customize where do you want to see the battery bar right now it is set as hidden you can choose status bar top and there is the battery bar on the top of the status bar and if you want it at the bottom you choose status bar bottom and here it is the battery bar is at the bottom of the status bar and this is the style which i like personally next up if you go into gestures you now have a slider to determine the activity delay for the screenshot in milliseconds moving over to lock screen this is where you have some major customizations so yes the build does come with screen of fod then you can choose your fingerprint icon which you want to see on the screen right now we have this colorful icon selected right now and bam there it is that is how it looks you can also change it so let us try changing it to this one and now if you lock your device unlock it bam the icon is changed and i'm not sure whether you noticed it or not but you can also choose the cyberpunk fingerprint animation enable this toggle select fingerprint here are the different options which you have but yes cyberpunk 2077 is all the rage and bam there it is cyberpunk 2077 fingerprint animation working like a boss on this build other than that you can also choose the fingerprint pressed color so these are the different options you have for that in case you want to disable night light when showing fod you have a toggle for that as well if you want to hide the lock icon on your lock screen you have a toggle for that as well lock screen charging info lock screen shortcuts have now been fixed so here it is my lock screen right now as you can see settings on the left and chrome icon on the right hand side working like a boss next up they have also added a new toggle in miscellaneous so you have a toggle to enable or disable the launch of music application when a headset is connected and of course you can also enable or disable the charging animation when the device is plugged in now in terms of safety net as you can see i do have magisk manager installed right now my device is not rooted i have only installed magisk manager to check for safety net and as you can see on your screen safety net is passing without any issues which means you should be able to use your banking apps android 11 bubbles works absolutely fine along with the easter egg of cat game next up we can check for youtube media playback so here it is let me play this video on your screen right now as you can see we are viewing it in full screen pinch to zoom works absolutely fine the volume of course has been minimized so as to not get a copyright strike media playback no issues let us check for picture in picture bam here it is picture in picture working absolutely fine we can also enable live caption and see if live caption works there it is live caption also works on this build without any issues now in terms of app opening animations here are the app opening animations on your screen right now as you can see everything is pretty smooth and next up google feed no jitters no lags everything is super fast we can also check the recents bam here it is pixel launcher in the building look for the select feature and select working like a boss without any issues and we can also check if switching between the different applications is working fine so here it is app switching is also working without any issues now in terms of battery drain me personally i haven't seen any excessive battery drain on this build and all in all a good build of a custom rom based on android 11 for the redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro and there it is peeps that is what was new in evolution x 5.2 based on android 11 running on the redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro and that will do it for this video 
hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you